everybody, it's Sierra, the Artsy Badger, and today is another Tuesday, which means another endangered species. For today's endangered species, we've actually got a subspecies. This is the California least tern, Latin name Sterna antelarum brownie. I think that's how it's pronounced. The California least tern is a subspecies of least tern that breeds primarily in the bays of the Pacific Ocean, limited to Southern California, San Francisco Bay, and parts of Northern Mexico. They're a migratory bird, meaning they change locations depending on whether it's winter or summer. And during the winter, their migratory location is actually unknown, but is suspected to be somewhere in South America. You'll be happy to know that people are actually working on changing the California least terns listing to threatened rather than endangered because the species population has increased from 600 to 7,100 since 1973. This last number was recorded in 2005, so let's hope it's even higher than that now. The California least tern has a distinctive black cap that has black stripes running from the cap across the eyes to the beak. These contrast with its bright white forehead and gray back. The least tern is the smallest of the North American terns, ranging between eight and a quarter inches to nine inches long. Its wingspan is about 19 to 21 inches in length. It primarily feeds on small fish, shrimp, and occasionally other invertebrates. The main threat to these birds has to do with urban development. Because they need to nest so close to the shoreline, where prey is abundant, and uninhabited areas close to the shoreline are becoming more and more rare, this means that the nesting birds are forced to live in a very concentrated, dense community. This makes them more vulnerable for predation as well as other disturbances. The terns are particularly vulnerable to predation when they're forced to nest near developed areas where things such as domestic cats and other human-tolerant native species, such as raccoons can prey on them. It is exciting that populations are growing, but it's still important to keep in mind the massive effect that humans and urban life have on the native wildlife. It would be a shame to repeat the same mistakes with another unsuspecting species. I really like the way that this one turned out. I think the coloring is very bright and beachy. I hope you guys like it too. And I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the California least turn. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.